Jason. Jason. Oh, there's something moving, dude. Look at these chains moving the whole time. Where? In the middle of the room. I think it's just from the... Motion. The wind in here, but so. can you hear that? There's all types of noises. I keep hearing the fucking noise there, dude. boat in the Port Elizabeth Harbour. Um, I'm not too sure how long it's been here but by the looks of the condition of it it's actually been here for quite some time and this thing is moving around so much <laughs> now like I'm feeling quite strange because the like it's kind of it's a, there's the weather is like stormy and there's um, a lot of smoke in the air because there's some fires nearby some wildfires so the atmosphere is full of smoke and there's like a bit of lightning and thunder in the background um, so yeah, we're on this boat which is not in use anymore. Uh, I think it's being wait. It's um, They're basically just waiting for it to be dry docked so they can do repairs to it. Um, so yeah, we're right at the front of the boat. I'm not too sure now, like uh, I don't know about all the boat terminologies. I'm sure some of you guys will know so you can comment below what, what, what the front of the boat is called. I think it's the bow. The bow, yeah. Okay, so <laughs> maybe that's correct. He has a, there's like a hole over here that you can see the water through. And this was used for the anchor. Possibly, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, and this boat is, as we're here towards the front, it's that we can really feel the movement quite a lot. So now we're going to walk, um, apparently the entrance is near the back, so we're just going to go down inside and see what's there. <laughs> if we can, hopefully we don't get seasick. But I think we'll see it now. Quite empty, so obviously took out all the equipment and stuff. Get some nice pictures, yeah. What is what is a oh, life raft station? Oh, well, there's been life rafts in this region, I guess, at some point. Yeah. There's not much wind, dude. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch to the normal mic, okay? Yeah. Okay. I've got the normal mark. Should be like fine. A lot of ropes, chain, this huge chain that they use for the anchors and stuff. Can I pick it up? Uh, uh, it's, it's like heavy, it's solid. <laughs> so now we're at the, what is the back of the boat? The stern. Stern? Yeah. Uh, Titanic. <laughs> <laughs> it, is, uh, it actually had educational value. Uh, I think so. Movie. Hey? I, I think this the harbour is really deep the water. I think we'll we'll get to this section down below now when we when we go into the boat. Yeah, I can't see anything. Yeah, imagine dropping the camera down there. Oh shit. Hey? <laughs> I'm sort of used to the movement now. Yeah. So just don't just don't go on a boat trip at a full stomach. Yeah, but I think we can go in here first. Alright. Oh, we will too when we go down see the engine room and everything as well. All right, we'll take a look inside. Yeah. Uh, 
What's up? I'm just looking what's inside there. But I wonder if this door is open. No, it's locked. They can't go. Uh, I wonder if they have keys for it. I wonder. Because I think that's the only way to go inside here. Yeah. Check, you can see where the oh. captain's sits actually over there, dude. The chair. Oh, there we go, yeah. It's quite cool, actually. So it might be. But otherwise, uh, it's not not too much in here. But it, it would be interesting just to, to me. Oh, but we can get up here as well. Yeah. I think we should maybe explore the hole outside first yeah before we go down that's a good idea but then i wonder if there's a way to get in here from above so i found out that this thing has been here for five years hey five years yeah yeah you can see by the condition that it's in your bag's gonna catch yeah take your bag off brother watch your back there we go uh, yeah Johnson coming up the little ladder over here. So we're on this top level where all above where the captain and stuff would sit. To uh, yeah, right there. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> Well, the weather is quite. See if you can see on the on the video. There's a lot of haze in the air, which is all smoke. And now there's a few rain droplets falling down as well. Rain drops falling. Ah, oh, look! You can see uh, this cold thing is starting to operate here. Okay. Uh, I'm not too sure. I think they. I don't know what they're doing. Do you see? I think they just poured out a whole lot of coal or something. Must have. Well, you can feel the movement more up here. Because you're higher up. Yeah. Hey? I think maybe it'll be better. Yeah. Because at least then you're going to have to touch the car and stuff with absolutely filthy hands. Yeah. Okay, so I just saw this little, it's like a, a little cross made out of sticks over here. I don't know if it has some significance to the boat or if it's like a... I don't know if anybody maybe died here, but it, it could also just be something to do with the boat as well, I'm not too sure. Um, there's also this other... Um, there's another ladder like the one I climbed up earlier, it goes up to a little... Uh, it goes up to a little platform over here. So we'll, we'll go up there just now as well. I don't know if you can see in the... Um, in the video but there's like as i'm standing here the boat is rocking up and down so it feels a little bit strange um i'm not i'm not really used to that i haven't been on many boats but i don't seem to be feeling nauseous or anything so that's a good thing maybe i'm not the type of person that gets seasick hopefully not um and then we're gonna we're gonna descend down here uh, we're gonna start going into the boat itself and uh, we'll see what we can what we can see inside the boat and uh, what you can see here is the rest of the harbour. There's uh, another ship down there, ship down here. And there's quite a large one over here. Uh, this whole section over here is to do with coal. They offload coal and process coal over here. Um, not too sure of the whole process how it works. And there in the distance, what you can see right on the right on the point there. We had some very strong winds and a whole crane actually blew over. We're going to see if we can maybe drive closer to it and take a look. But yeah, the, the whole crane literally fell over. Uh, there was no fatalities as far as I know. Um, but yeah, it's obviously, it's obviously a lot of damage that it caused. So it's quite bad. And the weather is looking very strange today. It's going down again. We're going to go around to... The is there? Yeah. We're going to go around over there. And there should be some entrance into the, the place. Who did you want to grab this? Yeah. Things, dude. I don't know what they would have been used for, but it's good. Heavy. You can, you can see the you can see the passageways and stuff through there, which we're gonna go into now. Yeah, this thing is definitely need a torch for this. Very solid. Dude, hold on. Let's grab my torch out of my bag here. This um this other thing. 
Isn't this side? Huh? Okay, must be that side. Awesome. This one? I wonder where the other one is. I don't know. Okay. Should be fine. Whew. Wait, it's a bit shaky. Let's go inside. Let's jump over. Let's jump inside. But I, I think we can get in through down here. Yeah, we're gonna now descend into here. Into the boat. Oh, it's echoey down here. Yeah. This place is freaky. Whoa. Imagine this place at night time. You're right. The last step is broken. Oh, uh, shit. Well, I think you just broke her. No, it was already off, but I, I just assumed there would be another one there, and I stood. Yes. And it's not. It's actually. Entirely broken. So over there, that last step. Right, I'm gonna have to get my torch. So can you just get it quickly on the side, yeah? One of those little side pouches. You can't really feel the movement as much inside, yeah? Uh-uh, no, you can't. Right, let's let's just start on this end. Okay. Jeez. My air filter, eh? Yeah. Oh, yeah, there's another little room. I have to connect to the engine room or something. So, okay, so, so this is just right at the end here. I'm going to go ahead and torch onto this. I'm going to search some battery power. Oh, yeah, some gloves if you like. No yeah. smoking, eating, or drinking beer on this point. Oh, shit. Oh, well. We're not doing either of those three. That's pretty wow. cool. Uh, you can feel the movement so strongly you can put your head over here. It's like you can feel it sinking and rising. <laughs> this is where we were now. Yeah. Up there. Up there. Oh. So. See, look at this. We can climb across here on the way out. Reminds me of reminds me of parts of the Caribbean when they climbed in that ship. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this bed. Yeah. See, look at that. It looks clean. Though. Oh yeah, totally. It looks very clean. Clean and comfortable. Sure. Well, and you got you got your shower as well. I wonder what these would have been for. Open it. Other way. No, it doesn't move. It doesn't budge. No, because you can see the switch. No, it doesn't budge. I think it's jammed. It must be jammed, doesn't it? Are oh, they? Anything? Nah. Uh, I assume they could have some sort would have come out there. Eh? So you can See, I don't really know what anything is on a boat. Look, no. there's a little, like, a bell button. Or emergency alarm. This should be, a, this looks like light switches. Yeah. Little shelves. Oh, <laughs> watch out there. Yeah, Jeez, yeah. In what, inside, yeah? Yeah, I think maybe just to access your... Oh, wait. It's a hatch. Ooh. It, no, lift up that side. That side. Oh, up there we go. Oh, holy shit. What is down there? I don't know, dude. Look at that. Oh, there is stairs going down. Alright, so I'm we'll sure. go around so, on the other side. That's the like, I think that's... Is that below the water level? I think so. Just, yeah, by the foot. Oh, okay. Well, we'll go down the there. Floor. But I think we'll take the stairs. All right, let's do that. It looks like the stairs will be a little bit easier. Yeah. Okay, so are we gonna? Let's go through that door. That door looks actually freaky over there. Are we gonna walk all the way to the front, and then come back to the center and go down? Yeah, let's do the let's do the top deck first for the second floor. Yeah, so we'll just see. Second deck. In around here and then we'll enter all the little rooms of things that we see. Let's just take a look at this thing over here. There used to be a light over here. There's so many little compartments and rooms of things. It's, okay, it's quite light here. Yeah. There's some oil drums. There's some big hatch here in the middle. These are cool. They must have oil in there. Do you think we can open this hatch? We can try. Yeah, what is this? Close oh, door. check out the moving guys. Yo. I don't think the camera guy did because it didn't adjust this, but. Ah, this is locked. The section wise, because these look like little like coat hooks to hang your jackets or coats or something. I don't know what that says. I guess, like. No, I don't, I'm not able to read that. Oh, look, some swallows, some birds lift here. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Oh, it wouldn't be a bad. 
Like, well, I keep almost falling when the clip moves around. This looks almost like a little geezer. Or compressor, some sort. Compressor. Ah, oh, yes. Yeah, he has a little motor for the compressor on ah. the top. See, I was right. Yeah. <laughs> okay. That's very cool. Oh, what's inside there? Oh, this could be like the fridge, dude. Oh. This, this is the fridge, look at that. That's what I think this is. Wait, like this how is this working at? This is definitely no, a fridge. This oh, this is Look in there, dude. It's jammed. It's jammed inside there. But we can go in here. Oh, the sound's muted in here. Yeah. Very, oh, insu very insulated. Look at this tiny... Take the camera there? It, it's got a fridge smell. And That's a fish good. smell. Oh, thunder outside. Look at over here. Let me just see if we can... There we go, that's better. I think this was some type of a little fridge or something of that kind. The residual smell is like a sort of a strong fridge gas smell that I'm getting in here, so I assume that's what it was. I suppose they would have kept all of their food supplies and things in here for when they were at sea. I assume. It, it looks like a fridge and the, the door, this door over here looks like a thick fridge door. So this must have been the refrigeration yeah. area over here. Oh, that's pretty interesting. I wonder if we can open this hatch though. Is it possible? I don't know, I'm not able to taste open this shit. I don't want to make too much noise. Ah, oh, silly. Fucking hell. I think I can open it, but I don't want to make too much noise. Yeah, because you have to flip it right over. Weird sounds. Hold on, can you hold it? Yeah. Oh shit. Okay, Damn. looks quite, dude, there's a lot underneath there, eh? But I think there's a way, to, I think there's a way to get down. Is it down by the engine room? Yeah, hey, check it out, dude, there's a nice stairway. So, oh, that, oh, that goes back out? Yeah. I didn't see that when we were outside, though. Uh-uh. Well, I want to see what's inside that room over there. Yeah, I think, well, let's get that one now, because I think we've covered this whole section. This must, they must, it must have something to do with the engine room. Like if they need to access it from above. Or, or, well, I know from fishing purposes, when they take the cranes and they drop the fish through the, uh, uh, the crate yeah, all the way down to the bottom and then they sort the fish out in like ice barrels and uh, stuff. Could be, yeah. So maybe that could be one of, one of the reasons uh, why there's a hatch and a hatch over there. Jay, yeah, swallow. Yeah, there's a bird. Hey, buddy. It's a swallow. Hey, buddy. Oh, there's, there's Two. Whoa. Hey, buddy. Wow, look at that. Are they tame or something? Oh, ah. well, they don't seem too scared of us. That's quite cool. Huh, are you seeing it? Yeah. So that's their nest over there that we saw just now. The one looks... I'm surprised they, they're not... Uh, they are, I guess, kind of scared. Oh, look. They seem friendly. I think they're more inquisitive than anything else. It's like they never see humans. Yeah. Because they don't seem that scared. Huh. Hmm. So they're actually living in the nest at the moment. I've never seen them up so close before. Check, check, check it. No, they are. Are they swallows or sparrows? No, those are swallows. Oh, okay. Swallows build nests out of mud and sparrows use grass and things like that. Oh. You can smell things. That's thunder. It's actually quite a nice weather for this. Yeah, it's actually not that bad. Even though there's like a little bit of rain. And it's not too much. Yeah. Are we going to go that one first or this one first? Let's go in this one. This one's quite cool. Hold on. Don't shut it out, I think it opens. Whoa, dude, that's so freaky. Oh, look at this. This looks too... This looks like it's a, the engine room. And we can actually go... Okay, get my camera. It's a little Light. bit of a tight squeeze, but that's what she said. So we can, <laughs> go, we can go all the way through here. Let's go down into the engine room. Oh, dude, freaky. I've been in a couple oh, of engine rooms before. What? Listen. That's such a weird noise. Look. Oh, it's water. I can feel the water. Oh, I can feel the ship moving, especially here, dude. Like, Hell no, I think this is going to go below water level, so. Okay. Because I can hear the water slushing, and it's like. Yeah. Not really. 
comforting to me. It's way dark inside here for sure. Oh, yeah, this is definitely... I've never seen the engine room of the ship before. Never? No. Yeah, I do. All these noises and stuff is like... What was that? Yeah, this floor seems to be okay. As long as I don't fall in any water, I'm fine. I don't know. Oh, there's a little room up there. And a huge fire extinguisher. A lot of cables. Oh, and these huge thick pipes. Oh. Right, there's some type of control. Oh, this is for starting and stopping the, motors and the stuff. line coiler. Oh, the, it must be the, maybe the coils like the heater because it's a diesel engine. So if we just see, oh, this is... That's my oil and petrol and... Well, diesel. Jason, Jason, yeah. oh, there's something moving, dude. Look at these chains moving the whole time. Where? In the middle of the room. I think it's just from the motion. The wind in here, but so. can you hear that? There's all types of noises. I keep hearing the fucking noise there, dude. The, that's the engine. Yeah, look, there's oil filters and things. I can't get through here. They just painted it. They painted the engine yellow. I don't know why they do that. This looks like it's a fuel filter. There's oil filters. Let's, get the Let's start up this engine. Hey? Let's start up this engine. <laughs> and then we ride the boat out of here. Jeez, I don't think it will get out of here, dude. It's in quirk to open these. Change over every six hours. Oh, that goes even further down there. I don't know. I don't think we can get down there. There's a red ladder over here. Look over here. To this side. Where I'm shining the torches. There's a red ladder over there. Oh, okay. I don't know where that goes. I can hear water sloshing. Let's go down here, dude. Okay, I'm just going to come around this way. This floor doesn't feel particularly safe at the moment. Well, do you hear that water? Yeah, it's quite strong. I don't know why this is here. Well, we can walk across the bridge now, now. Over here, on top. <laughs> it looks like this ladder just goes... I think we'll be able to access that through the, the north. doors and things. Yeah. This is actually quite big. Look, I mean, it goes all the way down here. There's all sorts of pipes and components and... Chains are moving the whole time. Yeah, I think that's the sound I've been hearing. Just the, I think it's just the... Oh, you can go down here, dude. The movement of the you know what this reminds me of? Have you seen that movie Captain Phillips? Mm, no. When the ship is overtaken by these, um... Uh, these pirates, <laughs> the, like the Horn of Africa, and then they're taken down to a room like this, yeah. to hide. I don't think I've seen that. Oh, this is... We should definitely be in line with the water down here. Yeah, this is actually below water level right now. Okay. It's actually quite freaky, dude. Yeah. Air compressor. It's very... Whoa, there's a strong smell of uh, some type of solvent down... Ah, I see the source of it. What is it? There's bottles down here of... Uh... Oh, shit. It's a little bit loose. Look at this. All these controls and things. Imagine being the people down here controlling all of this stuff. Oh, look here. What does that say? Oh, okay. uh, I'm not sure. I think it's to do with the, the rudder. The direction of the rudder. Oh, no back. Dish lotion. I can smell some type of solvent. I think it's in this big bottle over here. Jesus, was that you? What? Was that you that made that? I don't know. Like a bang. That was just weird, dude. I'm getting all sorts of things into down here. Oh, yeah. I think it's liquid. I don't want to fall through this floor. No, dude. Just be careful over there, bro. Bro, step on that thing, yeah. This thing seems more solid. Dude, this is open over here. It looks like some liquid leaked in there. I think that's what smells so strongly, like oil. and. Yeah. It smells like oil smell. That looks like oil, too. The water levels here, I can hear it sloshing over here. Like, like we, so we, 
we're like a little bit under the water level. Well, look at that. Bowls. Gee, I want to see what's inside of this room, dude. There's like more, yeah. You think if we fell through this floor, we'd go into the water? I don't think. I don't think so. There's a lot of machinery and stuff and pipes that's underneath here. That, oh yeah. That will stop us. We'll get stuck and hurt. That's for sure. Can we go? So we didn't go into that room yet. No. Not yet. We still. I think the floor looks pretty solid. Yeah. Like empty. I think it's solid. Just, just go across here. See if we, I, think, I think there's a room here. Don't see anything. There isn't a doorway thing. It's quite low, eh? Yeah. Well, it echoes in there. Yeah. Fuck. Jeez, dude, that freaked me out. No, there's nothing, dude. It's just a wall. What are these rooms for? Eh? They hang keys. This thing, huh? Oh. Uh, some silicone. Taps. There's like nothing behind me, dude. Nothing. It's there. just a wall. Oh. I thought there was a doorway. No. Look at some. What do you call this? Cotton. 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 It's cotton. Or nylon. Oh, nylon. Like what they make filters out of. I think it's there. It's nylon. Oh. Nice. Number 10. Solid piece of metal. Whew. Down here, the. Oh, look, it's a book. What book is this on? It's Moby Dick. Magic. <laughs> <laughs> Kathleen E. What is this? What's her name? Is this? Wood. Wood. What's. Woodwards. Come love a stranger. It's like one of those soppy romantic novels. Oh my gosh. It's the last thing I expected to find, yeah. Maybe just switch the booster pump on. No, that's not. <laughs> what if, imagine the motor, imagine all this machinery just started up spontaneously. Dude, I think I'll get such a fright, dude. It'll be loud, eh? Yeah. Oh, fuck. I smell the fire again, I guess. Move foot. Walking into your asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Where are we going now? We need to go up there. This is... Oh, this is that little room. Yeah. It's confusing in there. It is confusing. Oh, it looks, like, it looks like some type of a serial killer's workshop. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> oh, look, here's a little grinding stone, yeah? Thing. Oh, but it seized up from... Oh, no, that's there, it works. That's where your safety goes. Yeah. Dude, what's inside here? Yeah. Some of these okay. things are a little bit. Uh, uh, no, nothing. Just like a cupboard. It could be like a gun rack or something. Light glove. <laughs> Keep it like that. It won't look a noise. I don't think they can hear from inside here though. It mm -hmm. sounds very muted. Yeah, the things are so rusted. I can just hear slushing water. My stomach feels slightly uneasy, but it's not so bad. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, it's a lot of strange noises. Oh. Turn your lights here. So cool. Oh, almost fell. Oh, Shit. Careful. Sometimes there's more movement on the, on the boat all of a sudden. Yeah. And it's like you can, it's like you feel your body just moving by itself. I think the worst thing is because it's if like boats drive past the boat, and yeah, the wave, well, the wave causes like a, uh, a disturbance in the water. So. Yeah. Oh. There's actually so much to see in here, and this is not even a particularly big boat. No. Ooh, got a nice gust of wind over there coming through the door. Imagine one of those container ships or something. Now we're on the upper deck again. And there was still there was still another one of those thick doors. This is where I think this is where I opened that hatch from the top. Yeah, there it is. Yeah. See that out. Little hatches. Keep closed, let's see. So we should be able to see the water out there. There we go. It's a nice wow, look how close we are to the water here. Hello. Ah, it's nice to take a few breaths of fresh air through there actually. Yeah. This one's open is yes. you can Stick your head and stuff through there. Oh, okay. Whew. Ah. So, invite you that little. Uh, Jeez. <laughs> little section over here. Yeah, a little bathroom. A little toilet and a basin. What is it? The captain's quarters or something? Oh, I'm in a shower. There's the shower. Jeez, look at that. 
Oh, but then the, the toilet at um, Saint Mary, uh, what's it? Victoria, Victoria Hotel. Hotel. All right. What is, what is this? Outlet, port side, star, port. I think yeah, this goes up to where the captain sits, and then we can go this way behind us. Okay, let's go up to the captain. Up here first. I am the captain now. <laughs> I am. I am, I am the, the captain. captain now. I am the captain now. This is weird. Oh. This is, feels like I'm leaning backwards when I climb up. Yeah. <sighs> Oh yeah, here's that door that was locked. Yeah. So this is all the electrical controls, like some trip switches and... There goes a train, yes. old train. Yes. As we go up close. I don't know, this is open. There's nothing... I don't see anything interesting there. Oh, so... Oh, Jesus. Oh. So the captain sits over here. You can see the... Look at the front of the boat, how much it's moving up and down. See that? I don't think the camera is bad. Whoa. I don't know. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but it's moving quite a bit. I'm not going to sit in this chair because it's faulty. Just some stick in the water. Oh, okay, here's. Then this just goes outside again to where we were earlier. Yeah. Hmm. So the wishy. Imagine sitting here and just looking through this window the whole time. Quite cool, eh? Yeah, in the front, you just see this in rough seas, see the front rising up like this. Yeah, but probably Jeez. much higher than what it is There's now. There's waves and stuff. It's weird because it's going up and down and side to side. Yeah. I'm more used to it now than when we first stepped on here. And this little, there's a little room down here, but it's just full of rubbish. Mm. It's a bit difficult to navigate through here. It doesn't seem like anything particularly interesting. I don't know what it would be, I guess. These wires hanging down, but going down again. Jason's talking. <laughs> I'm gonna search my torch so you guys can see actually Jason. There we go. Here he is. There's some papers. Project Neptune. Project Neptune? Is this what the boat's called on? I'm not sure. Um, I can't see in the car. Holy sh- Yeah, so. That's right. Oh, it just seems like it's stow it, don't throw it, don't litter in the ocean. Oh, look here, it's telling you where it's illegal to dump. Three miles from shore, illegal to dump paper, rags, glass, metal, crockery, dunage, food. Then three to twelve miles, it's illegal to dump paper, rags, glass, metal, crockery, du what is dunage or dunage? I'm not sure. And food. If not ground less than 25 millimeter, then 12 to 25 miles out, it's only illegal to dump plastic and de dunnage, dunage. And then outside 25 miles, it's illegal to dump plastic. So you can dump all this other shit 25 <laughs> miles out. <laughs> they, they're literally telling them where they can dump garbage. Yeah, it's kind of actually stupid because now we're trying to save the world and these guys are dumping garbage. Yeah. So, that little so these are all. This is the. Motubius. <laughs> uh, there's water pouring in from outside. It says that that's why the door must be closed. Yeah, that's Afrikaans. Uh, yeah. There is. We've been here already. Yeah. Oh, but we didn't see. Oh, yeah, this. Okay, this came across. But we didn't go this way. This, okay, this will, it will open, but there's some wire on it. Take a look inside. <laughs> Come on, Mr. Strongman. I why they keep certain doors closed. Oh, shit, someone's fell. Oh, this is where the little kitchen, the scullery, what do they call it? Yeah, scullery. The, the mess hall, or, no, that's the fucking easy yeah, place. There's a big old, old oven here. Look at that, I wonder if there's any gas in there. I wonder if there's a person in here. <laughs> yeah, look, there's a baking tray in here. Yeah. Baking tray for babies. It's like in the um, <laughs> salad fingers oven where the where they gets a little kid to go in to get the fish. <laughs> I like crusty <laughs> spoons. <laughs> oh, I just felt some random movement now. Yeah, could be a potter ghost. <laughs> oh, but this this door was open. I didn't even have to open this door. Well, it was fun opening it anyways. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't think it's necessary, but okay. Just well, I'll, I'll just. 
just so everything looks exactly like because they probably know how everything all right toilet is there a shower as well yeah but oh, there's two basins so i assume there's two toilets yeah what's inside the toilets nothing they dried up yeah there does appear to be some type of shit in like that somebody's shaking these toilets oh, there's a rag in there what was that i don't know some Guess oh, where it came up? This guy. No? For a second I thought that's where we came up, but that's not where no. we came up. You see, but that, oh, this was this is the other solid door that we saw, isn't it? Yeah, so we decided to go, go around. around. Yeah. I don't know what this would be. These things are more like ladders. Yeah. Like the way they're designed. Oh. But I think that's, uh, the oh, reason shit, why they look like the side of the ship over here. Like you can literally see the metal of the ship. Let's take a look. Oh. I don't know how I feel about that. Oh shit. Come and look here. We're oh. going here just now. Oh. Gosh. Like I don't know how I feel about this. Oh fuck off. No ways, dude. <laughs> look how freaky it is. Come and look here. All of, there's like... There's like all this insulation stuff on the side. Woo! Oh. Oh. <laughs> There's so much movement, yeah. Dude, like you can but feel this, it. This is under the water, eh? Yeah, for sure. I don't know how I feel about that. Oh, shit. I don't know what I'm going through here. I didn't see anything. The floor, the floor seems kind of solid. Yeah. That's why it feels, it feels different down here under the water. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think of a balance, dude? Yeah. If I was going to get seasick, I'm sure it would have happened already now. <sighs> and there's still the other side over here. Huh? Where? Into this little door over here. Oh, shit. This is quite tight, eh? <clears throat> tight spacing. Yes, sir. Oh. I can hear the water quite loud. Can you go in? Yeah. <laughs> There's some water on it. There's some water here. Oh, shit. Okay. I assume that's... I wonder what is this? I don't know what... Oh, there's a little note here. Maybe there'll be less equipped. Uh, operation of emergency steering. Remove cover from rudder stock. Fit tiller to stock and secure in place. Connect for... Okay, so this is some type of a, an emergency steering unit. Uh, so I assume they can open this up. For the rudder. They manually adjust the rudder. Yeah. So they need to change direction. Uh, well, so the rudder right must be underneath here. Yeah. yeah. That's why there's some water in here. That's actually pretty awesome, eh? So uh, I can't see. I guess this something has to be opened first or something. The switch has to be flipped or something like that. Yeah. And then that activates the whole lever system. I'm not sure how it works exactly, but at least we know what it is. Yeah. Emergency steering. There's actually some. There must be some small little leaks because there's a little bit of moisture, some water over here. You can see on the tip of my glove. Yeah. It's a little bit of moisture. So I guess there's a few leaks and things, but actually, I mean, inside the condition is not that great. But I think they could, they would be able to refurbish this boat for sure. Yeah. Like once it's dry docked. But it's been here for five years already. There's so gonna be a lot of repairs. I don't know when they're gonna do that. But there's a lot of rust damage and fire extinguisher. Oh look, look the powder of the fire extinguisher is falling out of the pipe. Uh, I'm not going to set it off in here, but some of the powder, it's one of those powder, magnesium compound ones. Yeah, there's some powder still coming out there. Yeah, Come they just not explode or something. Yeah. I'm going to leave it. Oh. Like, people that have to navigate inside ships and boats and stuff, it's like a workout on its own. Yeah, but I think you need to be pretty fit and, you know, Know your shit pretty well when you're going through stuff like this. For one thing, you're keeping your balance the whole time. Yeah, that's true. Oh, ouch. <laughs> I just, you know, the, you know what gets me the whole time about climbing up stuff? Not the climbing part, it's these things, these unexpected oh, flipping yeah. pieces of metal. Yeah. Okay, so that was that. Okay, that was the kitchen. And that's where we came, no, we came through the other side. Alright. So, let's right. so, carry through here then. Yeah, seems like everything. Oh. Whew. 
fresh air. Yeah, that's quite nice actually. <sighs> yeah. I think this is anyhow, I think we've covered everything. Yeah, this is a pretty small boat, so there's not too much, but it's, it's, close or it's quite it's quite a lot of good things inside, yeah. What is this clothes as well? Yeah, I mean, it's like a safety hatch. Uh, some dirty metal. Oh, yeah, okay, then this was the other section. No, we can climb up to that little platform. Alright, let's do that. So, we're just going to climb up this little ladder. Because on this one, there's a platform that we can stand on at the top. Alright. We can get a few. Because um, there's a really nice view. Yeah, I think it'll be awesome. I'll just keep filming in case you fall and die. I don't think there's any stand on it. No. I, I was looking at it now when you moved your foot. They're coming down. This side is sturdy. Is it? I wouldn't trust it though. It's been here for five years of rust and stuff. No, dude, it's just it's falling off, eh? No ways. <sighs> okay guys, so we were just on this abandoned boat. I'm not too sure of the name of the boat because the whole the whole outside is rusted and it's in quite bad condition so we couldn't really get a name of it. The security guard told us that it's been here for about five years so and nothing's been done on it, it's just been standing here. Uh, I think it's supposed to be fixed up at the dry dock but that hasn't happened for five years apparently. Uh, it was very interesting actually to see inside what's there. I've never been inside a boat and it's with, like particularly not to the engine room compartment and all that. So that was very interesting. Um, I hope you guys find it interesting as well and if you did as usual, please like and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Um, and we're going to bring you more interesting stuff like this. You got to see the harbour in Port Elizabeth. Uh, and you got to see this old boat as well that we went through. So it's very interesting if you if you like me and you haven't actually been on a boat before. Um, I don't know if you can see on the camera right now, but we're moving up and down quite a bit. And I've got more used to it since I've been on here. So. Yeah. Uh, no, it was very interesting. So please, guys, if you liked it, uh, give it a like and uh, mention in the comments if you found anything interesting or saw anything that we didn't. Yeah, cool, guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed it, and we'll see you guys on the next next episode. Ah, thanks for watching. See you next time, guys. Cheers. Cheers.
first. Oh, has it has been moving up. Yeah. See if you look down there. Oh, look, there's fish. Look at the fish. Okay, to see it. All of these fish swimming around here. I think there's tons of them. I don't know, I can see them. Yeah, I guess. Oh, they need a fishing rod. Whoa! Guys, so previously uh, we thought we didn't see the name of the boat, but actually right here we do see it. It's called the Protea One. So, yeah, that would be Actually, it looked like it was known as something else before. Um, Palinurus. Palinurus? Yeah, I can see it scratched out over there. Yeah. So, I think it changed from Palinurus to Protea One. That's, that's so, interesting. Oh, at least we know the name now. <laughs> such a mystery. That's awesome.